training up a storm in pre-season, I'm told. How's it going? No, it's been going good, thank you. Just trying to get past this weather. But uh, as you can tell, it's a nice, nice bright day today. So I'm just trying to get through and uh, learn from last year. You know, there was um, some things they're not happy with and you want to try and improve and, you know, um, get a, f you know, round one um, starting, you know, really good. So see how it goes. Apart from the weather, what, what do you like about Castleford? Oh, it's, man, it's hard to, hard to put down. Uh, but, you know, you get that feeling when you come in as, you know, it's one, one tight family and that's not only on the field, it's off the field as well. You feel the love from the community wherever you go. Um, and, yeah, it's really good to, you know, it gives you, you get encouraged and it's good to see, you know, when you've got passionate, um, you know, Cass fans and that come, come out and support you. You know, it just makes you want to, uh, you know, put, put that jersey on and, you know, wear with pride and go out and do the best job that you can. What, what are the hopes then for 2023, both personally and for the team as well? Oh, I've definitely got big hopes. Like I mentioned, uh, you always want to look back just to reflect and see where you can improve. But we've set some, some, some big goals for ourselves and, and vision as a team. So we're looking forward to uh, track on and just take it one day at a time. Lee Ranford in the Samoan camp. Obviously, you, you, you've got to be careful what you say about him, but he, he seemed to have taken things to the, to the nth degree. When we saw, we saw him at the World Cup, he was almost Samoan. Yeah, well, um, just between us, he's really speaking Samoan and he's got a chief name, so uh, you're going to have to ask and interview uh, Lee Radford for that. He's, he's, got, um, he's got his Makai name, he's just talking Samoan, he's calling me all, so, man, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, to, <laughs> what to make of it. Eh? If, uh, you know, he's from, from here in the UK, but no, it's been good. Well, it was good to get experience and uh, go into camp uh, here and there and help out where we can, so they've done really well, you know, get to the grand final. It's a massive thing, not only for you know, Lee Rafford, but you know, for the whole Samoan nation. So, yep, well done. Yeah, I mean, how can you put that into words, what it meant for, for the whole nation? Like, we saw the videos of everyone celebrating just getting to the final, but to, to, to play against the Australians in the World Cup final for the first time ever must have been an amazing thing. Yeah, I think what comes to mind is just, just proud, eh? Um, I was blessed and fortunate enough to represent um, Samoa myself uh, a few years back, and... Yeah, just to see them make history. Um, we know that they're not only, um, you know, playing for themselves, but the whole nation all around the world will, you know, would have been right behind them. So yeah, it was a special feeling, you know, watching from from the silent as well. So. And I guess that the, the passion of, of some other passion of Castle for the kind of twin together. I know it just all came together. It was unfortunate um, how our season um, ended, but you know, for Lee Rafford and you know some of the boys that went on, they went on to finish, um, you know, finish the year off on a high. So definitely, Lee Rafford can um, bring some of us. Um, you know, it's also more stuff and rub it off onto us this year. And we'll go from there, eh?